In this week's episode, inspired by the Far East, he took an old township dance to global audiences. But first, having defeated cancer, he now aims to take on the world. Welcome. As we approach the 2016 Olympics in Rio, you may want to look out for the name Sean Harris. He's a swimmer from Port Elizabeth who made South Africa proud by winning gold at the 2007 All-Africa Games. But before his victory in the swimming pool, Sean had to battle another opponent, cancer, a disease that also claimed his mother's life. Shortly after celebrating his 12th birthday, Sean Harris discovered his mother had been diagnosed with cancer. I could still remember um, visiting her in a hospital. Uh, and I mean, my, my mom used to go in and out in hospital. She also went through chemotherapy. And, and for us as a family, you know, you, you sort of like get used to it, thinking that mom would come out, you know. At the time, the Port Elizabeth teenager was showing great potential in sport. His mother wanted him to capitalize on his talents. She used to lie there and, you know, going through a lot of pain and agony. And even through that, she would say, Sean, you know, I don't want you to miss a session. I need you to go and swim. So um, she always said to me, listen, you never give up. Never give up and you go for that. Go for the gold. While Sean was training as usual for his swimming competitions, he received devastating news. After a year-long battle with cancer, his mother gave in. I heard somebody saying once to me, um, you know, when you lose your father, you lose a lot, but if you lose your mother, you lose everything. Uh, and I mean, she was like um, the pillar in our family. Um, I mean, you know, we still, I still have a very close bond with my, with my dad and my sister, but um, yeah, I mean, with, with my mom not there, you know, it's, we do miss it. Sean had to carry on with life in the absence of his beloved mother. And I just continued with my swimming. My passion has always been swimming. He never forgot his mother's words when she told him never to give up on his dreams. By the time he reached his 20s, Sean had turned professional. He represented South Africa at the 2007 All-Africa Games, winning a gold medal for his country. His focus had shifted towards the Olympics when his life changed. In 2011, while on a family visit in Port Elizabeth, Sean experienced stomach pains. A doctor diagnosed him with ulcers and gave him medication. But when Sean returned to work in Johannesburg, the pain got worse. I went to my doctor in Randburg and, um, and then he hospitalized me saying, listen, we need to send you to hospital immediately. I can feel a lump in the stomach and um, abdomen area and uh, I, need, I need you to, to actually go for, for some tests. The doctor confirmed something Sean wasn't ready to hear. He too had cancer. The first sonar they did, and they picked up the germ cell tumor, one of my testicles. The deadly disease that took Sean's mother was now back threatening his own life. I was thinking to myself, am I going to make it? What's going to happen? What's going to be the end result? Because, I mean, you've got to understand, I mean, as a family, we went through losing my mother, and now, I mean, I've, I don't know what's going, to, what's going to happen to me. But not all hope was lost. Sean was told cancer could be beaten. 
for the next nine months, he went for chemotherapy treatments. After um, uh, his, his hair started to fall out, etc., and one afternoon he phoned me, saying, please, can we, can we meet up? And we went and have a coffee. And um, uh, we talked about um, uh, battling to eat um, dur during the process. And um, uh, I said to him, look, forget about your diet. Yeah, I must make sure that you eat things. Sean responded well to treatment. The eight centimeter tumor was shrinking dramatically. But it did not completely disappear. I was devastated with the, with the second phase because I mean, I've gone through all the pain, um, all the drama. I mean, you know, sitting there at a Santa Oncology Center with a drip in your arm for three to four hours, you know, and, 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 and they're just pumping the toxic into you and, you know, um, and really hitting it hard. So, I mean, uh, that, that wasn't quite fun. The doctor later recommended Sean gets it surgically removed. The operation was performed at a hospital in Pretoria. By July 2012, exactly a year after his diagnosis, Sean Harris was cancer-free. The doctor said to me, you know what, you're all clear. And uh, the blood test shows that, that you're all clear. And that, that was a, a real, really um, great day of my life. It's been over two years since Sean beat cancer. He is now part of a campaign that motivates and helps people understand the disease can be defeated. Having returned to the swimming pool, he is on the verge of qualifying for the 2016 Olympics in Rio. He's become so much more explosive. That's, that's our main goal, is to, to actually make him faster in the water. And by doing that, he needs to be strong and uh, act activate fast twitch muscle. We call it fast twitch muscle. That makes a person faster and we act faster in the water. Fighting cancer, you've got a physical battle as well as a mental battle. And I think he succeeded in, in winning both battles. There you have it. As South Africans, we are crossing our fingers for you, Sean, to make your country proud at the Rio Olympics in 2016. As always, we appreciate your feedback. Against all odds at enca.com, you can also be in touch with us on Twitter and Facebook. Still to come, he took an old township dance, refined it, and gave it to the world. <laughs>